all at night, I'd always wake up and chug water. I got my filtered water. I'm chugging the water all night long. And I've never let my body just truly rest. Feeding time. Welcome to feeding time. The big guy Ryback back here once again. Guys, we got a nice lunch today here. Rubio's, Rubio's, I got sauce on me, how, on the picture. Mm. Rubio's Coastal Grill. I'm actually found, I've lived in Vegas my whole life and I just continue to discover new parts as they build more and more. Um, and this looks like a very fairly new area, damn near brand new off of a commercial drive in Farm Road, which Farm Road is even further north than where I am. And, and I'm up there, out here, and this is like, this is really close to the mountains, which I love this. Um, it feels like a different, it doesn't feel like Las Vegas. There's like, and there's palm trees all over Vegas actually, but there's just, this is, this has a different feel out here. It, the, the, the elevation is a little different. The, the elevation feels higher out here. And uh, I'm digging it. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to have a little lunch. I got myself. They have the new Impossible Meat Burritos. And they have bowls and everything here at Rubio's Coastal Grill. Today's day one. I'm here on the grand opening. So I'm probably going to be like the first YouTuber to have this out. Cutting edge stuff here, here at Ryback TV. Uh, they give me chips. I'm not going to be eating the chips today. But I do got me more information. I got two burritos. And I got some salsa. Also for the burritos, if it, if it needs it, I don't know if it will or not. And I'm gonna go ahead and get me some. They gave me napkins. They gave me extra napkins too. On that and uh, uh, freaking jacked. Got to go big gym workout, big chest workout after this. Broke up a bunch of scar tissue as well in the shoulder before. Oh, I just keep finding. I tell you guys, every time new areas, and like the more that breaks up, the more it relaxes. It allows me to go deeper in other areas, and then turning my hand in various positions as I'm moving, opens up new areas and new tissues. And man, this is, it's just like, I just, the best way to explain it to people is the whole shoulder, lat, scapula, bicep, tendon has just been in, like, in, just engulfed in like ice. And it's just, and I had to chip away the ice and everything's intact. And it's like, I can't believe it. I don't know, I don't know how, I've never had anything scar tissue over like this. I don't know if it was just from all these injuries, wrestling, and you just keep wrestling, and like small injuries, micro tears, and then them pumping me full of cortisone that ate away all the cartilage, but that shouldn't have caused all the scar tissue to form, but maybe with it always being, it was in so inflamed for so many years, and it, I just always, I don't take pain stuff, I always just dealt with the pain, and now it's like, holy hell, to be feeling so good again, and like, look at me, I look young as hell, I mean, I look, I look hot, I look hot. So, uh, <laughs> just messing around, guys, just seriously. Um, you know, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves, sell ourselves a little burrito today. I don't know what's on it, I'll tell you, I forget, it, it, there's no cheese, though. Mmm. All right. I don't know, I've never had this place. Wow. This just blew my balls off. They're gone in the beginning of the video. I'm gonna have to talk like this from the rest of the video. This food is amazing. Holy hell. And the impossible meat is ground up really good in this. It's guacamole, rice, beans. Mmm. Oh, no. Mmm. Tomato. Looks like chives. Oh my goodness. We got new Feed Me More Nutrition Shakers in also with the new logo. I ordered a small quantity because I got a mass shipment coming in. 
of black shakers. The new ones that we have right now are, are more like these ones. Then I got, I'm got i doing the blackout shakers with the, the new logo. I'm waiting on the sample to get in. I also just got samples of my uh, new sweaters I'm doing that say hungry and small on the side and then the Feed Me More Nutrition logo on the back. They didn't send it in American sizes. I got a 4XL for me. It fit like an XL. Like I looked like Chris Farley trying to zip it up like big guy in a little coat. It wasn't happening. And I like I go, guys, so they're sending me, they go, oh, you want American sizes? I go, yeah, I'm an American company. I'm the goddamn big guy. I don't want Chinese sizes. Like this one didn't fit, like I don't even know. It was, it was, maybe it was more like a large. This thing was, I was like, this, and it had a 4XL tag on it. I go, if I sell these, Everyone's returning them. New one's going to get the right size. Mm. And I know there's some people that are like, don't buy from China. Well, when you tell the United States to quit charging so damn much on everything, there's a massive massive difference and by the way a lot of these companies that do do the usa stuff they buy it from them themselves and then they, they put your logo on it here and charge you a fortune it, it, it's just it's silly that what goes on and i love all people so i'm not like i don't get it Their sauce is really good too. This red sauce. Give me a little some. This place might be my new favorite place. I knew I've heard of the name, I just never had had it. Now, I'm man, there's so many other options I could get here. I'm so content and happy with just the first one. And now I get more carbs. I've been doing my dry fasting too. I'm doing it every night. I'm doing 12 hours, an intermittent dry fast every night. I get all my meals in. I drink a bunch of water and liquids throughout the day. With I do four servings of my finish at BCAAs with electrolytes. And it allows me to go into to fat burning mode in the night when I'm sleeping. I'm noticing more and more. Like I honestly feel, I think, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Like it's, it's crazy. I've always consumed liquid so much. I'm like that little kid in the, the Home Alone movie drinking the Pepsis I told you guys. Except for I'm just always having, I always have liquids. I got my coffee, my water all throughout the day. All at night, I'd always wake up and chug water. I got my filtered water. I'm chugging the water all night long. And I've never let my body just truly rest. And now it's like it get, just gets to completely rest. Because I'm giving it everything it needs during the day. That's what she says. And uh, this is what she said. Sorry, I messed up my own catchphrase, which isn't my catchphrase. But I didn't come up with that. <sighs> Number two. That's what she said. <clears throat> Excuse me. Brought on a new brand ambassador today for Feed Me More Nutrition. Natalia. She's Russian and she's a wrestler. 30-year-old phenom. She's in such a great shape. She loves the supplements that are healthy, natural. And she, she goes, oh my God, these have none of the artificial sweeteners or colors. I go, nope. So uh, she's part of the brand. You'll see her image on the marketing and things moving forward as I continue just to bring more people on and grow. There's so much work that goes into having a business. It's enjoyable, a lot of it, but there's times like, 
when you work for somebody else, like you do your job and then you don't think about it usually. When you own your own business, everything runs through you. It should anyways, if you're doing it right. And even when you delegate responsibilities, you have to oversee things and like, even like labels and like things like that. There's people that look over the labels with me, but I've caught errors still. And we've made mistakes in the past early on at different times. Like there'll be a misspelling. Something happens from the time it's approved to the time it goes, they take another, like you always, and it's like looking over things, looking over things, looking over things, looking over things, getting messages while you're doing things, looking over things. Oh my God, I got to work out. Oh my God, I got to do my scar tissue. Oh my God, my dogs need my attention right now. You know what I mean? So it's like, I, I have learned to like, I try to take care of things as they come in and not let too much build up as well. And, uh, cause it's always, there's always something and, uh, you know, it's a great thing. You know, I've, I've watched it grow to what it is. I mean, it's going to grow far bigger. <laughs> That's what he said. And, uh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good deal. I gotta say, these stay together really well too. Which for a guy like me, that's always making a mess. It's a real treat. I saw there's a bunch going on. Not today. This is well, today. By the time this video comes out, who knows what will be happening? Stuff with the White House. I just distract. I just like log off. I'm like I'm, I can't seeing everybody acting and out outraging, being out. You know, not outraging. What's the word? I'm looking. Just essentially just getting angry. And I don't need. I don't know what's going on. I don't care to know what's going on. Quite frankly, it's all a bunch. Everything's a mess. But I do know people distract themselves far too easily with things. And there's a lot of people out there, and not, this isn't political at all. There's a lot of bad people that are lazy, that don't want to work. This country, the backbone of this country was built on work. And, you know, whether we agree with everything or not, I agree there's, I don't agree with the, the from a capitalism standpoint of selling for bad. I think that's where we went wrong. But we have a choice and it's up to us to be educated on it. And if we just made the right choices, the bad companies would go out of business. So it's our fault ultimately by not educating ourselves fully. So that we have to have that accountability from an individual standpoint. But the people, there's a lot of people out there that have, have failed in life. They failed with a bad mindset. They've had failed parenting. They had, they failed to overcome. And now they're, they're going to destroy a lot of, of, the benefits that we we reap and in, in, are awarded in this life, that I can't stand for. And I think that's we gotta, you know, whether whatever's going on, but you can't let people you can't destroy stuff because that stuff I'm telling you you gotta you gotta shut it down. You gotta shut it down swiftly and effectively, and you do that by putting a bullet in people's head, and then people will go. I think I'm going to go home to my dogs or whoever it is you go home to. And, uh, you know, swift action. Mm, this is good. But people that have the stuff going on in their lives that are goal-oriented positive minded you don't have time to hang out all day and causing destruction you don't it's another reason why we need to reopen and get people back to work people have too much free time on their hands that alone is enough right there that overrules any virus bs to me get people back to work when jeff when the jeffries and karens have too much free time on their hands not a good thing Also, I don't think there's probably going to be no podcast again. I'm waiting. I got to get my uh, cable, my internet fixed. The signal is all screwed up. It's in and out. It's too risky doing live the live shows. Um, and I'm not 
it's it's one it's too embarrassing if I've got people on and the the connection isn't good and uh the the cox has to come back out they're just called me I got to call them back I'm hoping to get that done here in a couple days <clears throat> Because it's they've been out so many times. I need to. I wish there was a, another cable option here. I, I would. I would. I would literally just cancel everything and have them put in a new service. I'm, Cox Communication sucks. In the service out here, they 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 overcharge for everything now. They used to be a much better, and it's just now it's it's not not happy with it. And the service has been out so many times, and I pay a lot for my service, and I don't get. I don't. I mean, I get download speeds of five five uh is it megabytes per second or the five mbps whatever it is five when it should be getting over 300 even on my phone or even hardwired that is not acceptable to me so i'm a little frustrated with them i've actually screwed with them i've had them come out three times and i don't i don't answer they've been out so many times they've screwed me over so they i mean taken hours of my time not fixed anything and I'm, I'm dealing with the top people over there now. So I'm just, and I'm pretty much gonna, I'm gonna cancel it anyways eventually. As soon as I could find another provider, I could I could trust to, to hook everything up I need for the house. And uh, so, but I'm just, I'm so disappointed in them on so many levels. If you live in Vegas, you know the service, and they even admitted, they go, the service has not been good since COVID. I go, then why are you charging people full price if you're not delivering the service that you, you're supposed to? Well, we don't guarantee anything, I go, you're a cable company, an internet company. Like, I'm, if you're charging for that, you you're you're guaranteeing service. Like, it, it's you don't charge for it otherwise. And, but she had no answer. I go, well, why are you guys charging full price when you're not giving full service? Like, and she literally, I, I love making people just look foolish, and she like stumbling over her words. And then, you know, yeah, 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 then what? Well, yeah, I, yes, you're right. I understand. Well, well, just let's implement that change then for the people. Let's back pay everybody for the service. Let's let's charge everyone half back. Give everyone half credit for the for the whole time of COVID since the service. And I go, the service has been about a quarter of what it should have been. Oh, this is delicious. I'm gonna look at homes in this area. Done. Ooh. Let me get that little bean. <sighs> All right, so those were the new Impossible Burritos from Rubio's Coastal Grill. <clears throat> and those were full vegan, no cheese on those as well. Um, whew, I'm giving those with that red salsa too was made it even better I'm giving those a 9.7 out of 10 those were delicious they actually came with two little sides of chips too with the salsa I didn't eat those I just had the burritos but you can see there's the chips there ultimate warrior weirdo um, nine nine point seven out of ten. Those were absolutely amazing, vegan friendly. Great job, Rubio's. Those tasted like regular burritos to me. Uh, you do a taste test with people all around America, you're gonna fool quite a few people. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's the review, straight up to the point. And I love you guys very much. I thank you for the love and support. And uh, don't forget, Feed Me More Nutrition. We're giving away free beanies and face masks here all of January with your orders. Don't miss out. These are great quality face masks, guys, here. And uh, my way of saying thank you for, for your business, and you can save 20% with discount code January20 as well. So, all right, I'll see you next time. Feed Me More. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and The Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon, patreon.com 
backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more, feed me more.